Good evening and welcome to We Repair. Uh, so today I'm working on a Lenovo Tab E7. Um, as you can see, it's a bit broken. Uh, someone in my comments asked me if I could do a quick teardown on one of these. Uh, so I managed to get hold of one uh, by accident really. And uh, yeah, we're gonna give it a go at tearing it down and, and see what this thing's all about. Uh, uh, as awful as it sounds, it is not really in the economies of scale to to repair these uh, and I I can't actually seem to find the screen anywhere either so uh, we're just going to do a teardown on it today. So I think from a quick glance at this the first thing we're going to do is see if we can get the back off which looks like it's just going to be a pry around the edge job and then it should come apart he says if it isn't going to stay in place because of the massive amounts of cell sellotape on the device not three edges off it's uh, quite well stuck down there we go got it there we go So, I think, let's just take this off of here and have a look behind it and see what we've got going on. You don't want to, if you actually want to save it out of the device, don't be as aggressive as I am. Uh, how do we get that battery off? There's a little plus there, so I'd say if I screw through that one. And screw through that one. That should release the battery connector. There we go. Now, I reckon this is probably stuck down with the most hardcore adhesive ever. And immediately the tab breaks. <laughs> so we will try and get this out in one piece. There's a tab there as well, actually. You know what, I actually think I prefer the Apple adhesive from the Lenovo one. Uh, see if we can get this out. I wonder if we can do it without heating it. Just be careful doing this because the last thing you want to do is split your battery. Actually, that came up really easy. So there we go, there's our battery. Uh, I don't actually know how many milliamps that is because it doesn't say. Uh, there's our little microphone. It's quite funky that it's just soldered on, run through. Let's get rid of all this tape. Camera's up there in that corner. So can I just lift up? How does this undo? There we go, just lifts up and it should just pop out like that. And then one of these is going to be the digitizer. I think that's going to be the front facing camera. So one of these, probably that one will be the LCD I would reckon. I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. One of them's going to be digitizer, one of them's going to be LCD. I can only see like four screws holding this board in. Maybe those clips there. So let's, uh, let's quickly give this a pull apart. This one I'm just disconnecting is for the side buttons as you can see there. I don't know how this comes up. Feels like it pulls up. There you go, it does. Oh, that's well taped in. And then it's well taped down, I'll give them that. And then we'll disconnect our screen, which unclips from the back. And pulls forward, same with the digitizer, if that's what it is. Oops. And then up here, we'll disconnect the front facing camera. That's what I'm assuming this is. I'm amazed that this board is only held in by four screws. It's got to be clipped in or something. There's got to be some other way that this is held in. 
Oh, there you go. <laughs> Pings up and the front facing camera comes with it. Yep. So there's our board. I would imagine if it's anything like the old sort of iPhone 5s, this is probably a speaker that's removable. With a bit of force. Is it going to come out? There you go. That's our little speaker. And the question is now, okay, so I reckon that's definitely our LCD by the looks of it. So that must be a digitizer. Question is, is this going to need heat or is this just going to come apart? I reckon it's going to need heat. Let's just see if it will. No, no, it's actually coming off quite easily. I guess that might be because of the fact that it's so damaged by, <laughs> by the looks of the things. So let's just see how far we can get without heating it up. Oh. I was fully expecting that to be an assembly, but it's not. It's separate digitizer and LCD. That's pretty hardcore adhesive, given that. The power does should be quite. Right. I was right, that is the LCD and that's the digitizer. Look at that. Good. Oh no, maybe I wasn't. I'm confused as to what is what. Oh, that was the LCD and that is the digitizer, I think. Or oh, is it, was that just glass then? Is there no cable connecting to that? Yeah, that's literally just glass. There's no... It must be a combined touchscreen and LCD all-in-one, and then that is literally just the glass. Wow, who knew? Interesting. Oh, you can see how the amount of mess I can. <laughs> well, there we go. Live and learn. So, yeah, it does tear down relatively easy. I think if you were going to do this, you'd need to heat it up uh, in order to to actually take it apart properly if you could get hold of the replacement parts but I have tried and I can't find them anywhere so if you can then you're a better man than me but there we go so that's it if that's if that's been at all helpful to you please uh, please drop me a like or leave me a comment or say thank you and uh, I'll keep doing what I'm doing and, and posting more random teardown videos of utterly destroyed devices and uh, yeah hopefully I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching